Oh, hello. Well, that's not very nice. That's not very nice at all, but let's go ahead and park right here. That's cool. You'll see, that goes to show it. Park right there, in front of a bunch of cops, and they don't give a fuck. Well, hello there, a YouTube family, my peeps. How y'all doing today? Man, I need gas like a motherfucker. This first mission is to, to find a gas station here. Hmm, I think there's one up there, it's like, um, anyways, whatever. Oh man, so today, I am doing something that the homie Bill nominated me for. Normally, I'm not gonna be, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be honest, or I'm gonna be honest. Normally, I don't do the whole, you know, you've been nominated to do this challenge, you've been nominated to do that challenge. You know, it's just, I don't know. I, there's like this community motor vloggers and stuff like that, and I've kind of realized that just not my jam to be really included, not talking shit, it's just, I don't know, I just don't get down on the whole nominating and this, this, and that. I used to, but anyways, but the homie Bill nominated me for this one, and it was kind of cool. I mean, it was kind of a good topic to talk about. So what it is, is it's called the seven question challenge. I've got the fucking list in my pocket, but it's just a bunch of questions about the bikes and, you know, through riding and, and stuff like that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to pull over a couple of times, which you guys won't know about, because I'll just edit it out, but, I don't remember all the fucking questions. And some people want to be cheaters and not do it on the bike. But you know, you know, whatever. I'm not judging. I'm not. A bill. A bill. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Anyways. So, seven question challenge. First question. What not, or what nominated? What the fuck? I can't even talk. What motivated you to get your first bike? So, my first bike, which I've been, I've talked about multiple times, is or what is a G Suzuki GW250Z. It's a naked bike, super popular over in like India and stuff like that. Um, it's a perfect little commuter bike, really good gas mileage, has a, just a little, little bit of torque because it's a naked. Um, but yeah, Suzuki GW250Z. And I've ridden a lot of motorcycles, dirt motorcycles, pit bikes, stuff like that. It's here and there. I never owned my own just because a lot of my friends had them, right? No street bikes. And one day, I didn't have a car or anything that I was getting around on the bus, um, and, and I would rely on my parents and stuff. I have my own place, so I rely on my parents, like, if I needed to go shopping for, like, a big thing or a friend of mine, you know, to go take me and stuff. And then one day, um, my dad was like, hey, you ever thought about getting a motorcycle? And I was like, well, fuck yeah, I mean, I'd always like to get a motorcycle. It's just not something that I ever put effort into, not something I thought was feasible. He's like, well, why don't we go look and see if we can get you a motorcycle? So sure enough, Went down to Ride Now. Uh, uh, oh, oh god, I hate saying that word. Went down there uh, and we looked at some bikes, and there, were, there was a Suzuki GW250Z for like 4K. Piece of cake, right? You know, looked nice. Had one cracked fairing. Had like 200 miles on it. Um, and oh man, it was just I liked it. So I was like, yep, let's do this. So my father actually, hello, thank you. My father actually helped me finance it and all that stuff and there we go that was it so that was what got me motivated to get my first bike and ever since then it was just boom fucking loved it uh question number two is what type of riding do you like to do straightaways twisties fast me uh if you know anything about naked bikes it's all about torque and it's all about zero to 60 times um and wheelies <laughs> so personally dude you have a what the f Wow. Don't hit that bump with your fucking SUV too straight on. That's bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, so, I, me personally, I like to go really like acceleration. So, drag. Like, if I'm going to pick one riding that you had to pick forever, I would pick just drag riding. I love it. Now, the mountain I love too, twisties and stuff. Um, but if we're talking about just picking one and sticking with it, it's going to be drag. Uh, that's, that's just what I, oh man. Me and the homie Bill went to the drag strip one day. Mm -hmm. 
got to doing that, and it's just, it's just an adrenaline rush. Getting up to the line, fucking, um, what the fuck are you looking at, lady? I don't like you. Um, getting up to the line, you know, watching the tower light up, dropping that clutch, you know, I mean, oh man, it's just, it's an adrenaline rush, like, I can't fucking, I can't even explain, it's so great. Uh, so that right there is definitely my style riding. Just go fast in a straight line for a quarter mile. Can't get over it. All right, get gas. Now while I get gas, I'm gonna look at the other questions here. Alrighty then. Got ourselves a nice fresh tank of gas. All good to go. Got the other questions in my head, some of them. So, question number three. What is my favorite trip? Like a day trip, a weekend trip? Watch out, um, stuff like that. So my favorite type of trip, if we're talking about going on trips, um, is a group ride, a longer group ride to some place to eat, hang out, and then ride home. Um, so we're talking like, I guess it'd be a day trip, you know, like ride two hours, eat, ride two hours, two or three hours back, you know, stuff like that, um, with my close friends, like the homie Bill and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> that's always the funnest to me. Uh, just sharing experiences like that. You'll get experiences that you've, you've never, you know, like, just memories, basically, that you always remember. Some of the best ones, man, or some good ones. Or, like, so if I've done with my dad, <coughs> me and my dad have a good relationship now, but, you know, we're, we're both exactly alike, and so we butt heads a lot, but whenever we're on the motorcycles going someplace, there's never, ever a problem, ever. Um, and that's, you know, I mean, that's what motorcycles do. It's, it's great, you know? Um, so that's my favorite trip. Favorite destination? I was talking to Liz about this, my fiance about this last night. We were watching the Homie Bill's video. I don't have like a favorite destination per se. Um, me, it's all about the experience um, of being with my friends, you know, and family and, and riding and stuff. That is just like the memories you create. The destination isn't as important to me. Um, but I, if I, I guess if I had to had to say something, I like going to the really small towns that I've never been to and just like slowly cruising through their town. Um, and just looking around, going like 10, 15 miles an hour through their town, just looking at the people and and stuff like that, because it's it's kind of like their own little world, uh, per se. That's something. That's that's something I like to do. You know, everyone looks at you like, who the fuck are you? Why are you being here in our tiny little town? And that's I guess I guess you could say that would be one of my favorite destinations. Fuck, I need to know how it's so bad, dude. So fucking bad. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Anyways, um. Question number, was that five, I believe? Question five is, what is the biggest lesson you've learned on a motorcycle? The biggest lesson I've learned on a motorcycle is to, the biggest thing was respect. And I kinda, kinda build on that a little bit. Um, biggest lesson for a motorcycle, and this is how I'm taking this question, is to respect your bike uh, and not do anything stupid. Um, I hate to say it, a lot of people that have died on motorcycles, it was preventable for them doing something stupid or not respecting their motorcycle or going up to Lemon and riding above their, you know, their skill level and stuff like that. And, uh, damn, I got a bunch of hay in this car. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's, that's what it's just to learn. It teaches you a healthy respect for machines to where if you don't, you, you can and sometimes will die. You know what I mean? So respect your bike that's that's all I can say about it uh, <laughs> who's having a good old time yeah get it uh, yeah get it uh. <laughs> yeah man sometimes you just gotta have a good time you know stick your head out the window like a dog and just have a good time get it <laughs> I'm trying to not go that way because it's just directly into the sun. That's gonna fuck up the camera. Like, you can just gonna be worthless to you guys. So, I guess we're going south right now. Um, words, or the sixth one is any words of wisdom, which I don't really know if it's a question or not. Um, it's more of a statement. <laughs> but, words of wisdom. I'm not one to look for, look to for words of wisdom, to be honest with you. You definitely don't want to model your life around me. I've, I've fucked up a lot. <laughs> Uh, but words of wisdom, <clears throat> I guess as it pertains to motorcycles is a lot of people are scared of these machines. 
Um, and, and don't be, if you're even remotely thinking about riding one and getting one or trying one or learning how to ride, don't be scared. Do it properly. Start off small and work your way up. And it will literally, or it can, some people just don't like it. Some people don't like being in the elements. Some people don't like riding. Some people don't like the cars. Um, but it can change your life. And the moment that I started riding all the time and I got that 250, my life has never been the same. This was the single, one of the single greatest thing, I guess you can say one of it, this is the single greatest decision I made in my life, was to ride. Do it, try it, don't be scared. You only live once, man. You know what I mean? Like, get out there, it's a life experience. When you're 50, 60, 70 years old, do you wanna be, be wishing, like, ah oh, man, I really, you know, see a motorcycle, I'm like, I really wish I tried that sometime, but it's too late now. Or do you want to be like, I tried that, I rode a lot, or I tried that, and it wasn't for me, you know? Get out there. Try it, man. I'm telling you. It's fucking amazing. I'll do this as long as I financially can until I can. And the last one is the next destination, the next ride. And like I said, I don't have really a destination or anything. It's just getting out there and having fun, you know? I mean, right now, the, the next ride is, is to, to ride with the homie Bill tomorrow and go out and just have fun and even we're, we're trying to find places and everything's closed like kit peaks closed um, colossal caves closed all that's closed because of corona and not the beer the virus and we still make it work like we're supposed to go out to patagonia and stuff and so just it's not the next destination to me it's like the next memory the next next fun time that i have you know and that's it like don't worry about the destination, it's the journey. And it sounds cliche, but it's true. Oh, man. Well, my peeps, I do think that that's going to do it for today. At least for this video. Let's see if I can... I'm going to practice my wheelies on, on BMO. Let's see if it's going to be a good one or a really shitty one. Ready? Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Alright, after that, that's gonna do it. Y'all have a go on, hit me up at Instagram, hit 520. Come talk to me, come say what's up. Other than that, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace!